How's the show going, man? Uh, it's great. It's mine. Stay tuned with me. That's how I sound? That's uh, something I would say. You know what? Let's just drop the faces. How you been, bro? What's, What's going up, on man? with you? Be my face, man. To my hey. face, man. Right. Let's do it. So how you been, man? I've been good, man. Just like like Daniel said, you know, that slow grind. That's slow all it grind. is. So just, just sticking to it. So what's been going on with you? That the this, you know, obviously a lot of people know you for the shot, you know, our senior year. You know, we won the, the Big East uh, regular season championship, the Big East tournament championship, finally got over that seat in Hall Hump that we kept bumping into, you know, every year at some point or another. So just walk us through the next year for you. Yeah, so, you know, I, I season ended, you know, started some, some NBA pre-draft workouts. Mm -hmm. um, did summer league with the Wizards. I was on the team with Daniel. That, mm -hmm. was, that was a great experience. I learned a lot from him, mm -hmm. from being around those guys and, and just learning. I was in Turkey for a little bit, then I did the G League, mm -hmm. and then, you know, now we, we're here looking to get on again. So, you know, it's, it's just a grind. You just got to stay positive because, you know, there's a lot of bumps throughout the road. But, yeah. you know, nobody expected any of us to make it as far as we did. So, exactly. you know, that's so why we never listen on. to what they say. And that's why we're here. Exactly. That's why we're here. All right, so, you know, you, you, you speak a grind, and obviously the grind is something that, you know, you, you Chris, you Chris, one, one day you will be the TV man. So, you know, a lot of things with you was televised. Um, Chris, what is Scary Hours? And why does this show up so much? Because when you're on your grind and you're heading to workouts or coming from workouts or in a workout, we see the hashtag on your social media, Scary Hours. We understand that it's the title of Drake's two-track EP, you know, with Diplomatic Community. And um, what's the other song? God's Plan. God's Plan on there. Thank you, thank you. This Drake, he, he's a Drake expert, by the way. <laughs> but what is Scary Hours mean for you? Yeah, for me, it's just it's just the mindset, you know, that I'm, I'm going to work. That's my mm -hmm. job. That's my nine to five. You mm -hmm. know, I don't go and sit behind a desk. I go to a gym. You found something wrong with sitting behind a desk? Uh, not like you. You got a lot of space. Most people don't have that much space. Okay, okay, all right, all right. But, you know, it's just it's just the grind, you know, just yeah. the hours that, you know, I put in. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's just to let people know that the next time you run into me on the court, it's scary for you. It's scary. So these hours are scary. So, the, okay, so because of the scary hours, the hours get scarier for your opponents. Spooky. Spooky. It's real spooky. Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> I just, not like I said, I, just, I wanted to know. Like, I, I would see it and I was just like, I got to ask him. And then somebody was like, you should ask him on the show. I just turned like. You're right. You should pay that person. I will. <laughs> I won't. But then, you know, it's, just, but it's just like I really wanted. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You know who you are. I'm gonna look out. But I just, I, you know, I, wanted, I just wanted to know, like, you know, what is the scary hours thing? So, all right. So, you know, we're gonna we're gonna change gears a bit. Like I said, you, you know, you're my brother. We came in together. Me, obviously, me, you, and Josh. We clicked immediately. Found out, you know, later on that we had come from similar backgrounds. Right. You know, so in college keep it as PG as possible. Please talk to, uh, just talk to us about one of me and your more troubled stories, I guess is the, the polite way to put it. <laughs> just if you if you can think of any time that me and you got into something, PG of course, that you know, that, that, that it, it kind of, it, it helped bond us that much more. Yeah, so you know, Daryl and I love music. Uh, we love Notorious B.I.G. You mm -hmm. know, we kind of got old souls. Yeah, so yeah. we listen to some, we listen to great music. Mm -hmm. So we were talking one day, and I was like, yeah, why don't we, I think you might have mentioned, is it room 112? Yeah. And then I followed up where the players dwell. Where and it was from that dwell. moment we knew this was meant to be. No, no, they, like, see, it was like, we, I remember we looked <laughs> over. We look, I said it, I was like, I said, I, I know what you're talking about. So we, we're, we're on South Campus. We're on South, we're on South Campus, campus yep. freshman year. And we're going to, you know, before everybody parties, everybody meets up. So we're right. going to the meetup. You know, it's after the season, and we're going to this meetup, and you said, you know, I was like, I was like, you're like, where are they at? And I was like, ah, let me look, let me look. Everybody said they meet in the room 112. And you said, just real quick, like, it was like, it was almost like it was scripted. You was like, where the players dwell. And I just looked over like, man, you good in my book. Thank hey, man, you. <laughs> you good in my book. No, man. <laughs> Listen, we here with Chris Jenkins on Stay Tuned with D-Ray, we'll be right back. We good? We good? Room 112, where the play is. Hello and welcome back to Stay Tuned with D-Ray. We're here with my brother, Chris Jenkins. So, you know, Chris, obviously, is something that, you know, obviously as we graduate, we start to really get a feel for and start to realize how serious it is. And, you know, life after basketball, I have to ask you, what do you see, you know, after the ball stops bouncing, what do you see yourself doing? 
Yeah, so I've always been passionate about commentating mm -hmm. and, you know, just sports in general. People think, you know, I just love basketball, but yeah. I probably love football and watch more football than I do basketball. Yeah. NFL. You know, I'm a diehard Eagles fan. I've always been that way. Yeah. My, my mom is a Steelers fan, so I was that one child that was rebel against everything. Oh, of course, as you so, should have been. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, I, I just love sports in general. You know, I can talk about, you know, hockey, baseball. Mm -hmm. Lacrosse, if we have to, I do some research. I was about to say, we, we, we can <laughs> pull we can up a Google tab or two. <laughs> but you know, I just love sports in general because you know, it's sports has done so much for me, yeah. and I've met so many people through sports. And uh, sports and things like that are like one of the few things where like you can actually meet somebody who you don't know, and, and they can yeah. become your brother. Because just like of how, just like how, what happened with you, Josh and I. Like, yeah, we didn't know each other. That, and Josh and I didn't know each other that well. Like, we yeah. knew of each other, but, you know, when we got here, it just made us brothers. So, okay. you know, that's why I'm so passionate about sports in general. Okay, okay. So, you, you spoke on the relationship with, you know, with me, you, and Josh when we first came in. Obviously, I have my take on that. But this show is about a different perspective. You know, right. that's, that's one of the things of our show. So, just talk to us about, you know, from your perspective, just coming in and how you felt about, you know, me and Josh and how that relationship grew throughout the four years. Yeah, I, I think our relationship is so great and it continues to grow, you know, even now is just because it was never forced. Yeah. You know, we, we all got along, you know, ex you know, while we're on the court, we competing. So if we're not on the same team, obviously we yeah, I got no forget you for it. this. Yeah, 15 I don't minutes. know. Yeah, exactly. But you know, we, we just, it, we just clicked. I, I can't even describe it. Like mm -hmm. people ask all the time, you know, it's just something that you kind of have to experience. Like I can't, I can't tell you how this feeling was. It just yeah. happened for all of us. And uh, the bond that all three of us share, man, I, I cherish it. And it's something that, you know, I, I thank God that that came into my life because, you know, it's something that, you know, we'll always have forever. Okay, okay. So all three of us, you know, we, uh, I, I told somebody about it. I don't know if you, I didn't check with you. I'm sorry. I should have checked with you if you were okay with sharing it because it's not something we share a lot. Somehow or another, I don't know where it came from, we got the name. The Basketeers, the three Basketeers. At first, we were the freshmen. We were the freshmen up until about our senior year, right. because everybody was like, "Oh yeah, the freshmen," because of our first hoops mania, you know, the mm -hmm. whole dancing thing and blah, right. blah blah. And we were, we were the freshmen, you know, and it, that was good at times, and that was bad at other times. Very Obviously, bad at a lot yeah, of times. Yeah, it was bad. At other, it, it, it was more bad than good. Yeah, and then especially when you got <laughs> when you got when we got out of being actual freshmen to still be referred as as the freshmen. Everybody was kind of, you know, everybody was in that time. And, like I said, we appreciate it, and it, it was some good, and there was some bad behind it. But, you know, obviously us three being the basketeers and being brothers and all that, we had to have a mom-like figure. And you know who I'm talking about. You, you, you have to express your love and briefly, obviously, our relationship with that mom-like figure for us. I understand that she is going to kill me. I'm sorry. She is going to kill me for this. But I just it's, – it's such a beautiful relationship, and it's honestly at times – like brothers, we had our spats. We've had our things that kind of have, you know, could get in between us. And she would always be the one that's like, listen, you need to go talk to him or y'all need to figure it out. Right. Please just dis express that mom like figure and, you know, to us. You don't even have to name the name, but just express what yeah, she, she means. She knows who she is, mm -hmm. man. She, it was another thing that just wasn't forced. Mm -hmm. And, it just took off. I, I, I can't explain that no, one I either. No, I feel you. I feel you. I just, I just like, just, just, just express what she, what she means to you. I, yeah. I can't say express the means to us, it means to you. I mean, being her favorite. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, we could cut that, right? We could get that out of there. <laughs> just cut that. Just, just, just please. <laughs> but yeah, sh what people don't know. I'm her favorite. <laughs> no way. Go ahead. Go ahead. But um, you know, Arlish. Excuse. Sorry. Cast out the bag. Just keep going. Just keep going. Arlisha, yeah. Arlisha Davidson, man. She's, she's just in a an amazing person, mm -hmm. beautiful human being. She, like I, like you just said, she was that mother figure that we had here and she kept us on track, she stayed on us. And, mm -hmm. you know, she would say things to us that, you know, even college coaches would, wouldn't even think about, but the relationship that we had with her, her saying that we knew it came from yeah. a great place and, yeah. and all she wanted to do was protect us and make us better. And uh, I definitely miss our, our Empire Wednesdays and our Scandal Thursdays. Oh. Ain't y'all so cute? I guess you were her favorite. Having Absolutely. Her Wednesdays Still got that Xfinity Wednesdays. account too. I I use that faithfully. Yeah. Shout out to you. Yeah. I'm gonna tell her to, to change that password. Well, 
Chris, thank you for being on the show, man. Yeah, I will. <laughs> thank you for being on the show, man. My bro, my bro, Chris my brother, Jenkins. Thank Thanks you for, for staying having tuned. me, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. I definitely am still telling about that Xfinity. I don't have it. You don't have it.